Welcome, everyone. We would now like to begin the Ritzmaker University matriculation ceremony, September 2022, academic year. Please rise. Lei. The Ritzmaker School Song. Please listen to the school song. Please be seated. We would like to introduce the platform party here at Ritzmaker University. President Nakatani Yoshio. Chairperson. Morishima Tomomi. Vice President, Matsubara Yoko. Vice President, Isaka Tadao. Vice President, Tokuda Akio. Vice President, Noguchi Yoshifumi. In addition to the persons present, we have just introduced. Today, we have deans from three undergraduate schools and nine graduate schools. We would like to introduce on the screen their names and the faculties. Your master of ceremony today is the Associate Dean of Academic Affairs, Kimura Shuhei. The President of Ritsumeikan University, Nakatani Yoshio, will now address a speech. To all those entering Ritzmeca University and its graduate schools today, my sincere congratulations. I'm sure 
this long COVID-19 pandemic has proven challenging for both you and your families. But I am nonetheless delighted to be able to meet you all here today, and I express my gratitude to all family members and those who have supported you in your journeys up to this point. I welcome you wholeheartedly as new members of the Richmaker University community. This fall, we are welcoming 153 new undergraduate students and 187 new graduate students. Ritzmeca University has a long history of over 120 years since its founding in 1900. It's a private comprehensive university with around 36,000 undergraduate and graduate students, 16 undergraduate colleges, and 21 graduate schools across four campuses in Kyoto, Shiga, and Osaka. Around half of our student population comes from outside the Kansai region, and we have 2,600 hundred international students, making for a richly diverse university. A university is not only a place for students to learn, it also functions as an institution of research. Ritzmeca University has a total of 47 research institutes and centers across six research organizations and is highly regarded for being one of Japan's leaders in research capability and the promotion of industry, government, university collaboration. From this point, you will engage with cutting edge knowledge, interact globally, and part advanced studies and research. I have great expectations for you as you join us in learning and exploration. I'm sure you all share my feeling that the world around us is changing rapidly. There is unjustifiable warfare, political instability, climate change and global warming, and many challenges to tackle in areas including population, food supply, diversity and inclusion, and energy. We need to seek solutions to all these challenges through partnership and cooperation across humanities as whole, with the solutions enabling the creation of societies that are sustainable. Universities are intimately interconnected with society, and their role is to produce individuals who can identify new values and meanings out of chaotic conditions, present people with a clear pathway forward, and drive society onward. We need to shed light on the problems facing society and tackle them through our academic endeavors, extracurricular activities, daily lives, and in collaboration across the entire academy. As an institution of research, Ritzmeca University is committed to bringing the combined knowledge of all academic disciplines to bear on these challenges. For this purpose, we have declared that uh, we, as we move toward 2030, Rizmeca University will seek to become a next generation research university that uncovers and creates new values for social coexistence. I look forward to collaborating with all students to explore and propose new paradigms for future society and to working together towards their realization. 
The name Ritsumeikan means a place to establish one's destiny through cultivating one's mind. I want you all to engage proactively in your learning and research, as well as participating in a range of extracurricular activities and other programs outside your formal classes. Direct your gaze to wider society and the world, participate in discussion with many people, and think deeply about your own relationship with society. Doing so will give you new forms of awareness and lead you to fundamental questions about what it means to learn and to live. This will become the driving force for you to create a new future. Ever since the establishment, Ritsumeka University has cherished its founding spirit of freedom and innovation. This spirit expresses our commitment to create an academy with a richly pro, uh, progressive and free thinking ethos. I understand this to mean that every individual should take the initiative to pass the challenges freely based on their own awareness of problems and that by doing so, we can produce diverse new ideas that interact to generate positive change. I look forward to passing these ideas together with all of you. Finally, let me remind you that encountering others is a kind of miracle. I'm genuinely delighted to have encountered each and every one of you at this university. And I wish you all the best for the future. I hope that through your studies at Ritsumeika University, you will empower yourselves to open up new possibilities for your own lives and for the future. Congratulations once again to all of you September 24th, 2022, Yoshio Nakatani, President, Ritsumeika University. We would now like to call on the representative of new undergraduate students to deliver a speech. Please welcome Okadome Ryosuke from the College of Global Liberal Arts. Good morning, everybody. Before I get started, I would like to begin by thanking the university for giving me this opportunity to address you all today. It is a pleasure to see all of you guys. My name is Ryosuke Okadome, and I'm excited to spend the next few years with all of you. I hope all of you will have a successful academic career here at Itsumeikon. Well, I'm not gonna lie. When I first received the offer to make this speech, I was caught off guard and was almost certain that I would respectfully decline this offer. Well, I don't know what happened to that plan because here I am today addressing you all. Well, anyways, to help you understand why I shared that, uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Growing up, I was a shy kid and never really uh, spoke much in front of a big group of people. This became a problem studying at an international school uh, as making speeches for classes was a daily thing and this felt like the worst thing that could possibly happen to me. It would make me sick literally, and I would try to avoid giving these speeches, but of course I couldn't, as it was, it was a compulsory assignment. While learning it the hard way, I realized that I had to find a way to adapt to this inevitability. So here's what I started doing. I would volunteer to give 
my speech before a majority of my classmates had given theirs. Uh, I did this to get over it quickly and not spend a longer time feeling that crippling anxiety. And believe it or not, this strategy paved the way for me to um, overcome my fear. And after a few years, I became confident and comfortable enough to speak in front of people, and it changed me for the better. Oh, sorry. Uh, while still being a little bit nervous, of course, however, the outcome was completely different, and it changed me for the better. Taking advantage of being able to volunteer uh, for the speech was the best thing I ever did. So what I want to say to you is uh, that you never know which opportunities can change your life, so don't take anything for granted. As Eminem raps in his song, Lose Yourself, you only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. And I hope that explained why I mentioned the fact that I wanted to decline this offer. Well, that being said, I want to add that for some of us, studying in Japan is nothing new. But for some of you guys, this may be your first time even relocating to a new country. However, regardless of our circumstances, studying at Itsumeka University is a new chapter in our lives. It is okay to feel nervous, and it's okay if you feel a little bit scared and worried about settling in. Everybody has their difficulties and worries. But as I said before, challenges will always come our way, and it is important to face and overcome them, especially at university, when everything is new and unfamiliar. Ritsumeikan is an international community where students of different nationalities and cultures come together. I believe this is the university's greatest value, and this diversity will expose us to many different opportunities and uh, opportunities and dif sometimes even difficulties. Like I said, we shouldn't take this opportunity for granted. And I'm certain that we all will learn and grow together from those experiences. So keep challenging yourself and try different things. You never know what could happen, whether it be positive or negative. I'm sure you all have something that you're looking forward to. Well, personally, I cannot wait to experience the global aspect of uh, learning here at the GLA program, and I'm, I'm also looking forward to learning at ANU. In the hopes of gaining different perspectives and ideas, which should help me establish a career in the future. Well, let me tell you this. I think this was the longest speech I'd ever given, but hopefully it made sense and my message was somewhat meaningful to you guys. I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys, and I wish you all the very best of whatever may come your way. And let's all get through this together. Once again, thank you to Ritsumeikan University for giving me this opportunity, and I know that this is just the beginning of many challenges to come. September 24th, 2022, representing the new students, Ryosuke Okodome, College of Global Liberal Arts. Thank you. Next, we would now like to call on the representative of new graduate students to deliver a speech. Please welcome Matley Ryan Wesley from the Graduate School of International Relations. To begin, thank you to the president of Ritsumeikan University, Nakatani Yoshio-sama, and to all the faculty and staff here for the chance for me and all of these prospective students to be here today. I'd also like to thank you for the years of hard work and the dedication that you've all put in to continuing Ritsumeikan's rich 122-year legacy of being a prestigious university established for the working people. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Ryan Martelli, and I am a new graduate student at the Graduate School of International Relations. So first of all, to all the students here, 
Congratulations. I think it's important to note all of the hard work that it has taken for all of you to be here today. There have been many days and nights of intense academic study and many deliberate decisions to choose your education and your future over more instant gratification have all been rewarded with this opportunity. Let's also not forget that the past two years have been particularly difficult. We've all had to change the way that we've conducted working and studying. We've had to embrace changes like virtual learning that has left little distinction between our classrooms and our living rooms. Many of you have had to work incredibly hard as well to obtain special passports and visas to overcome difficult travel restriction. But as the saying goes, if you avoid difficult things, then great things will avoid you. So congratulations to all of you for persevering and summiting your own individual mountains of challenges to be here today. Now congratulations should also come with thanks, for we must acknowledge that we cannot ac accomplish valuable things in life without the help of others. So to all of your parents, siblings, friends, and family, mentors and partners, those who are here today and elsewhere, a sincere thank you to all of you. Your encouragement, mentorship, advice, and especially the words of wisdom that may have been difficult for us to hear at times made this day possible. Now, as much as this is a day of congratulations and thanks, it is also a day that marks the beginning of an opportunity. Just as Dr. Jonas Salk said, after inventing the first vaccine for polio, the reward for work well done is the opportunity to do more. Now, every prospective student here chose this university to lead us through this quest for further knowledge and to shape our futures. We all recognize that we'll be challenged from the curriculum from this third ranked private university in all of Japan. And today, we will boldly go forth into that challenge to continue forward to a place whose very name, as the president said, Ritsumeikin means a place to establish one's destiny through cultivating one's mind. But in addition to the curriculum-based learning that will lead us to our respective degrees, I believe that there is even more value that awaits each of us here today. Now, some of you may think that it's strange that this day is marked in part by a speech given by me, someone who's unknown to almost everybody else in this room. But I think that it's beautiful because it's a symbol. If we look around, in this room, we represent nearly 300 new students going to nine different colleges, excuse me, three different colleges and nine different graduate schools. I can guarantee that no one in this room knows all 300 other students. And that is an opportunity. Let me tell you a little bit about the other faces in this room and in your schools. The group represents over 33 countries from six different continents around the world. We have people from China to Bahrain, from India to Kyrgyzstan, from Uganda to Vanuatu, just to name a few. There are dozens of languages spoken. Some people are as young as 18 and some are beyond 40. Some people have families, children, spouses. Some have had, some have had whole careers before walking into this room today. I believe that this is a tremendous opportunity. I believe that we have as much to learn from our peers and our classmates as we do from the carefully cultivated instruction given by our incredibly diverse faculty and staff. So, if I may be so bold, I'd like to issue a challenge to all students here. Now, keep in mind, as a student myself, I'm including myself in that challenge. As we go forward to our four campuses, begin our studies, we should commit ourselves to learning not only from our curriculum, but from each other. Let's learn some new phrases in a new language. When your professor reviews a topic, listen to the different perspectives that were shaped by a cultural history from places like Spain or Colombia or Zambia. Share some meals with someone from a place that you've never visited. 
Learn the way that the Dutch or the Guyanese people debate. Let us go forth. Let's leave our comfort zone because discomfort is often a door that opens to growth. I challenge all of us to do these things so that in a few years, when we gather in a room similar to this to celebrate graduation, we can look at the speaker and not only recognize them, but remember and recall something that we've learned from them. Let us strive not only to have a deeper understanding of international relations or law or economics, but let's have a fuller understanding of the people that we studied with and the parts of the world that they represent. I believe if we do this, then, then we can live out the vision of the Ritsumakan Academy, which is to challenge your mind and change our future. So thank you very much to everybody and gambatte. 24th September 2022, representing new students, Martelli Ryan Wesley Graduate School of International Relations. Please rise. This concludes the Ritsumeikan University Matriculation Ceremony, September 2022, academic year. Late. All new students and families, please be seated. <laughs>